Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. And I have a double unboxing for you. I've just been so, so busy over on Instagram, kind of posting um, the new items from my shop. Um, I've been really focusing on the apothecary shop and I promise you guys that I think I'm going to be doing um, an overview of all the products that I have there once the shop is fully kind of stocked. So I promise you that's coming, but I just I feel like I can't get a video out to save my life because it's just coming into fall. It's just been whoop, like whoop, 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 whoop. don't think I'm gonna go too into what each item is like I normally do on my unboxing so let's just kind of open these up and see um, where we land so let's do July 1st and then we'll do this month so again I apologize if I haven't gotten to July yet it's just it's been more than busy okay so I have them both opened and I will say August's box is over there smells and feels heavy and it smells amazing. So I'm really interested to see what July brings. I know we already had Lamas and we're coming into Mabin. Um, so I, I'm hoping that they're really kind of honing in on that harvest feeling because <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but once kind of like end of August starts rolling around, I'm in full fall mood. Like I'm ready to start decorating the house in fall and pumpkin i'm already like burning pumpkin spice like scents in the house like i'm just there's just no september it goes from like august to october and that's it so i hope that these boxes are like some fall goodness since we're going into the harvest type of sabbats so let's open this up here Okay, let's see what this box is about. And again, if you guys have been with me for a while, I do not do, I hate spoilers in general. Like I won't watch a movie spoiler. My husband hates that about me. I won't watch a movie spoiler. I won't go on Instagram. I won't check out posts. I have no idea what I'm about to get for July. So I'm a little late in the game. Some of you guys already know, but let's see. The Psychic Armor, interesting. As we continue to craft and create our intentions on this beautiful journey, we must be vigilant in protecting our space and psyche. A very familiar task. We work to maintain our awareness towards impeding spirits and energy that is intended to disrupt or invade our workings and well-being. Interesting. And again, since harvest is very much like this part and this darker wheel of the year it it definitely is a lot of work it's a lot of um of internal work and it could be really draining and i always feel like sometimes like if things aren't either going well or you're just too drained or you're just kind of coming into that cloud that kind of follows you you might think about like the idea of psychic armor which is great because I really do feel that like you know things people like auras they could be draining that energy from you so that's really that's really interesting to have a box like this coming into the end of the darker half of the year so really really cool let's see here this is our card Union of love. Embrace the, embrace the beloved within your heart. Union of love. Love that. Okay. This is probably part of the spell work. Within this circle, within this space, I call upon my guides to protect and keep safe. All that is not welcome must leave. So mode it be. Really, really good. This is really, really awesome. Like, if, um, if you're trying to do like a book blessing for your book of shadows this is perfect so i think i'm going to cut these edges off and kind of slip that right in the beginning really nice interesting we have a hematite crystal really 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 awesome or hematite 
Smoky Quartz, really good. Smoky Quartz is my favorite, absolute favorite stone. So I know a lot about Smoky Quartz, but when it's talking about psychic armor, that's actually right on the money because what's, what Smoky Quartz really is to kind of what its job is is to get that negativity and kind of trap it within the stone and then release it when you cleanse it so that way when you hold smoky quartz it's meant to kind of absorb that negativity for you so really i mean i can say a lot it's really good for grounding smoky quartz is one of like my tried and true for sure it doesn't have to be fancy <laughs> sparkly stone it just has to be a powerhouse you know and then you have, of course, black obsidian, which is really, really nice. So this is really, I love this. I love, love, love this because this is a perfect thing to kind of slip in your book of shadows. Perfect to kind of put in with your crystal collection. Maybe get some little frames if you use like some, like I would frame um, the smoky quartz and put it on my altar because it's a stone that I work with almost like every single day. So really, really cool. But the knowledge is really nice to put along with your book of shadows so really really cool i love 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 the protection that they're going with especially working towards Samhain you know when i feel when we're at our most vulnerable and that's just my personal feeling about it so very nice <laughs> okay i'm like i have kind of goosebumps i i'm really loving this right now especially like i said if you are right now i'm just a workhorse i'm pushing 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 out so much work and my actual full-time job is a lot of work i need protection for my energy you know so okay um peppercorn really cool devil's claw interesting that's interesting what else do we got here Ooh. Star Anise. So I own these. This looks like Cat's Claw. Maybe they're the same. I have to look that up. But I have this and I have this in my um, herbal cabinet already for the apothecary. So this is nice kind of just to add this. And Star Anise is one of the more um, costly herbs. So I'm not mad at getting Star Anise. Um, okay. So let's open up the oil here psychic armor it's funny because i have um, a rollerball in the apothecary shop called liquid armor and it's i'm sure it's meant to be that same purpose my rollerball um it's meant to when you wake up in the morning you kind of roll it on you smell it and the idea of fragrance when it's linked to an intention is always good because every time you move your hand or you get your hand closer to your nose and you get that smell it kind of puts you right back into why you said it in the first place so it's a constant reminder throughout the day when you set a scent to your intentions so i really really love this so i have that in my shop but let's see what they made this one with so this is made with um, cedar wood, almond, sandalwood, frankincense, and myrrh oils. That's a really nice blend. Really, really nice blend. Okay, so what do we have the next? Incense rope. We've had this before from the Witch's Moon Box, so this is really awesome. Especially when you're burning a rope. Rope with such a binding type of um, protection, divination tool that you can use. So let me smell... Oh, this smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is either sandalwood. It has like little bits of like, like a sweet Nang Champa. Oh, exactly, look. Nang Champa Ritual Rope Incense. Beautiful. So this is you burn during um, ritual. It's been hand rolled with rice paper and then twisted into a rope form. The scent of Nag Champa was chosen for the specific collection to bring energies of protection. And Nag Champa is what I use, what, you know, um, my coven uses to really kind of bring, hone in the seriousness and to take the mundane out of your spiritual work. I've said this before, is that when I suggest when you do any type of rituals home and you're practicing on your own and doing a little bit of solitary work, really 
use certain things that you only use when it's time to really buckle down and do the work because it always and and use it for nothing else so this is really nice that it's made with nang champa so that way when i'm doing any type of rituals and things like that um this is easy for me to burn all right next we have the sacred salt lunasa so this is for llamas beautiful it smells good it smells like rosemary that's what i get right off the bat rosemary saint john warts and um frankincense so it's a really nice blend for llamas which is really harking in on the first um harvest sabbat of our season okay so we have this guy oh we have a candle as for usual nice black one beautiful really nice just simple black beeswax candle and this i would definitely burn alongside the protection too cool burning while you're giving yourself a book blessing like and a lot of people they set their their book blessing or their protection um in their book and then they kind of forget about it you kind of almost have to be on top of that i feel like a, that's not really talked about a lot when there's like book of shadow tours or uh, grimoire reviews and things like that when you give yourself a book blessing it's not a set it and forget it type of thing it's it's really good practice like set a sabbath if you want to do some some um blessings and protection on your tools and your and your book your journal whatever that you use very frequently set a couple sabbats like i'm going to do this on in bulk which is great and Samhain, and then maybe you know um mabin so look that way you know that you're constantly blessing your book you're constantly protecting it you're constantly trying to ward off people who um are curious and messing with your books if you have a lot of guests like these things should be done kind of ritually so that way you are you have that warm and fuzzy that your stuff is being protected so i i feel like a lot of people don't mention that and it's fine if you're setting to forget a type of person but for me i've had my book for so long <laughs> that it's like you know i i would i would feel like it's unprotected if i only done it when i first got the book you know what i mean you put new information you put new energies keep protecting it you know all right so um let's see here so this looks like um, a burner is this a charcoal disc or maybe this is something to put a plate for a burner so let's see here oh yeah this is definitely a burner so I'm hoping that they're giving you resin because that'll be nice for protection right and cleansing I also always say this you guys if you are really considering very seriously to protect your stuff use resin i have herbal um resin mixtures on my apothecary shop i'll leave that link down below i have just resin by itself also in the apothecary shop like if you are doing any protection it's always good to burn natural resin i i've always felt strange about protecting my tools with smoke that comes from a heavily fragranted like cone or like an incense stick that you would get from the dollar tree or something like that like we have fun creating crafts and things like that on a dollar tree but if you are really considering you know cleansing your home cleansing yourself cleansing your tools it's always better to do it by the smoke of like resin or something that's natural so i think that's where they're going with this so let's just open what we have here Ooh, okay i was wrong okay so let's see here this is like a psychic protection and enchantment necklace how freaking awesome is that so these are made with all three of the stones that we reviewed um earlier on look at that that is so cool i freaking love this so there's a hematite this is a smoky quartz and i love me smoky quartz that's dark um and the black obsidian 
and it tells you that this is really like a protection tool this is used for scrying and you should not definitely should not let other people look at the big stone you should not let other people handle this necklace this is like sacred items that we're talking about really really awesome for the witch's moon box to give you something like this this is kind of a little bit more intermediate type of practice like this is if someone you know you're you've been practicing for several years you're trying to get you know into a pattern you're you're dedicating yourself every day to you know meditation and you know doing spell work and things like that so this is something that's great this is something that will help you along that journey and i love how the witch's moon is kind of giving that to you giving you tools that are really serious and meant for only you to use you know and once you use this for a long time it's so powerful it must be so so powerful really cool i'm really really impressed with this llamas box this is like i would have not expected this from llamas but i i understand why you know and we spoke about that we spoke about that hard work that harvest you know and then when it comes to mabin and then coming into yule that's when you celebrate your hard work but right now everything is growing and we're just starting to harvest yet and that takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of back breaking work so really really cool love 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 all right so we didn't go into detail about that um and let me know if you like like these really quick fire type of review videos instead of me kind of reading and going in depth per item so let me know if you like that i can always change it up um i don't want to wait too long i hate doing double unboxings but if you like it this pace let me know august box which we are in august this is sunday august 29th so <laughs> I'm bringing you August box like literally at the end of August. I I suck. I know. I suck. I'm sorry. So here we go. Really excited about Mabin. Um, Mabin is like the holiday I get. I hate to say it because I love all my Sabbaths, but it's one. It's the one that. I give less love to you know so i hope that this is really honing in on the mabin vibes um the harvest vibes the you know the the giving and things like that so let's see what they have in store for us oh i love this beautiful the stone guide we find ourselves completely involved in our desires to understand, relate to, and honor all the gifts of the earth. Okay. Within these natural artifacts, hmm, interesting, we find assistance in all matters of life, from needing assurance to yearning for health and peace, to amplify our ability to draw prosperity and abundance. Okay. So that's coming into Mabon um, feels into our reality. We rely on the treasures buried beneath us within the sacred soil in this extremely exclu exclusive and one-of-a-kind collection. Mm. We provide further knowledge for you to incorporate into your practice. The magical items in this box are the following. Okay. Love this. Furred and feathered friends. Beautiful. I love when all the animals kind of come together. I feel like this is giving me a little bit of in bulk vibes, but you know, let's keep going. Ooh, another really large kind of cleansing wand here. This looks and smells like uh, dried rosemary. I feel like we've had rosemary um, wands before. Um, if you don't have the box and you're really interested in getting rosemary, which is really, really awesome powerhouse of an herb to smoke in this fashion, I'll have them in my apothecary shop probably next week. I'm kind of still rolling them up and making them pretty. So let's see, extra large rosemary sage bundle. Yep. So to assist you in preparing for any Maybon um, celebrations or rituals, we have included a rosemary sage bundle. A very prominent herb in the craft, rosemary carries it's a long list of 
beneficial effects and uses. And then they talk about the native to Mediterranean um, kind of history. And the rosemary sage bundle to bring protection and clarity into your space. This ritual is not only for your pre-ritual use, but can be done throughout your day when you feel called to do so. Really interesting. Really awesome that they're talking about pre-ritual. Um, our coven also practices pre-work before we allow other people to come in. So that's interesting. It's almost like before you do the work, it's like almost, there's always, if you are like, um, if you are a really steadily um, daily practitioner, it's really good to do a little bit of pre-work to kind of get into the mood. And that's, kind again, burning your ritual sense, getting into your garb, settling down, meditating. That's kind of all pre-work until you really do the work that you're wanting to do for the night. So or day so that's that what else um nettle some kind of nettle that's interesting oh the mabin blend herbal tea we haven't had tea in a while this is nice oh that kind of little cornucopia so cute so and then this is the bag for that chamomile yeah that's perfect for relaxation or like rose hip interesting i work with rose hip as like an oil like extracted but this is really nice to have the actual herb okay so that's something i don't have and this nettle this drawls nettle I have dead nettle, but I don't have that. So it's always, always nice to get new herbs to work with. And if they really resonate with me and they're a good addition to the things that I'm putting into the apothecary shop, I'll buy bulk of it. So it's always nice to sample these out, at least for me. Let's see. The Harvest Home. The Feast of Mabin, the great equinox, on this day of balance, both light and dark interlocks. I am humbled, I am grateful for the gifts of the earth. I am calm, I am clear, I am a sense, I am the essence of rebirth. I give thanks for the many teachings, I give thanks for the bonds, I give thanks for the healing and for the work to be done. Upon this harvest tide, I call upon the Lord and the Lady to be honored and celebrated in this day of... Oh my God. And you guys, why do you do this? I don't know what that says. So I'm going to guess that it in this day of no divide, so mode it be. I have to look this up because it's from JBiz. So I'm going to see if I can at least see what this says and then, you know... I could take it from there. Okay, so, ooh, look at the sacred salt. That's nice, instead of coming in a jar. I wish they all came like this. Less plastic, easier to kind of um, store if you have a bunch of these. Ooh, let's see. Oh, that smells delicious. Lavender, rose, chamomile, for sure. Oh, I see a book. I see a book. Okay, so that's why it was heavier. Oh, that's that's where I think that's where the smell is coming from. That smells so good. And there's, I think, we have two oils in here, or is this a stone? Oh, this is nice. It's beautiful, a beautiful black tourmaline. I love how it has like some gold. The flash is really, really nice too. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful piece of tourmaline. Here. Mabin. So this looks like rosemary. Let's smell. This smells really good. This this has almost like um like Beltane vibes to me. Very floral. Um very like lots of florals and lavender and beautiful smells like that oh this smells really good oh my god yeah. 
<laughs> you guys, this smells so good. This one, there is sweet orange, cedarwood, chamomile oils, um, rosemary, and calendula. And of course, they're Lumerian quartz. Oh, it smells so good. All right, what do we have? First of all, oh, you guys, wait. Did we get in? Oh, the incense was the rope incense, so we didn't get any sticks. So this one is, um, this one is the incense for this one. Oh, that smells really, really good. This has like a patchouli type of smell to it. We have our candle. And here's our blessed like mustard kind of color candle. Beautiful. Really awesome. Really awesome kind of things to do here for Mabin. A little bit different than what I would typically um, celebrate it with, but that's perfect. That's perfect. That's what we're here to do, right? We're here to learn and, and gather ideas from the witch's moon box that we normally probably wouldn't do in our everyday practice. Oh, check this out. Beautiful. It's Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Crystals, Gem, and Metal Magic. Wow. Wow, it's actually for, like, the witch's moon. May the spirits of stones bring you the comfort and compassionship. Blessed be the witch's moon. Wow, it's so nice. And it's gilded, too. Beautiful. Let's just take a look. bloodstone and I love how like it's just straight to the point there's no nothing to um, like there's not pictures or no like fluff it's straight to the point bloodstone folk name energy planet elements like that's exactly if I was trying to use this as a grab that's what I would need I would just need it straight to the to the point um, oh they have some things here that's pretty cool Maybe it's what they talk about within the book. Yeah, because there's only a few pages in the middle. You can see them. The stones, metals, electrum, gold, iron. Really, really good grab. Really awesome. Okay, so very different. Very different type of approach to Mabin this year. Maybe I'm going to kind of work more with um, newer stones that I don't often do or use um okay last but not least we have um more of like informational stones crystals metals which is really nice between both boxes so it's actually nice that i get to open them together so that way i can use both of them to practice interchangeably so we have the black tourmaline that was this one that we were provided then we have silver how beautiful the silver art is then we have gold which represents the god right moon sun protection really 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 nice awesome so that's what i'm probably gonna do this mabin you know while i'm kind of starting to shut everything down um, you know, I'm prep for some really heavy hitting work with Samhain. I really, that's one of my goals this year is to really do a lot of ancestral work. The crystals that we got from the Lamas box and the more medals and instructions for Mabin. I think, you know, I kind of, I'm loving that study session that I think I'm going to have leading up to October, which is perfect. I need to spend more time with these type of things anyway. So really awesome box. I, I really enjoyed um, July's more, but let me know what you think and let me know what you think um, about this style video instead of kind of taking piece by piece. I'm going to try not to do double unboxings because the funds that I get from YouTube, from everyone subscribing and being engaging, helps fund these boxes for review. So I really want to keep giving you really good content when it comes to Witch's Moon Box. So let me know. And yeah, until next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.